Once, a small girl lived in a town far away. Her family is poor, and though times are rough, she lives her life to its fullest as best she can. Her days are often spent playing alone in a ruin outside of town. She has no friends, so this rundown building is her only companion. Her days are ones of hardship. But today, she is filled with life and energy. Or so she desperately wants to believe. For today is her birthday. But there is no delicious feast waiting for her. No presents. And no one to celebrate her special day. Not even her parents. So instead, she celebrates alone. Happy birthday, she cries to herself, causing warmth to blossom in her chest. She spins in a circle, imagining herself as a beautiful ballerina. She sings, she dances, she tries all the fun things she can think to do. Because this is her birthday party. A day to forget the pain of everyday life. And more than anything else, she wants this day to be special. The lonely birthday party continues. The next event takes place on a craggy stone table. The girl begins forming something out of dirt and mud. It is a grand birthday cake, one far too big for a single person to consume. It seems impossible that someone so small can construct such a thing, let alone that she could build it at all. For her mother and father have never celebrated her birthday. Though she had always wanted a party, she knew her parents were too destitute to do such a thing. And as a result, she has no idea what a real cake is supposed to look like. Or taste like. Or smell like. The only thing she knows for certain is that they are delightful. More than anything, she wants to share a cake with her family someday. And with that dream in mind, she continues to build her creation. Her dirt cake slowly takes shape. Though it is a tad off kilter, she finally completes it. But as she gazes at her creation, she notices something is missing. She needs to add something very, very important. And she knows exactly what it is. The cake has no candles. She begins searching for branches that can act as a suitable substitute. She knows she needs as many straight little twigs as her age. After a bit, she begins breaking off branches and whittling them down. She will not compromise on the candles. A cake only becomes grand with proper candles after all. Suddenly, a sweet scent wafts over her. It is the most lovely thing she has ever smelled. Was someone baking treats nearby, maybe? The question lingers in her mind as she finishes collecting her sticks. But when she turns back to her cake, she is greeted by an unbelievable sight. Her creation of dirt and mud 
has transformed into a real cake. The cake the girl worked so hard to make has somehow become real. White cream, colorful fruit. The girl cannot hide her joy. Her cheers of celebration quickly turn into song. The happiest birthday song ever sung fills the quiet of the ruin. And in the far-off shadows, something watches. It is a strange creature, neither human nor animal. It had been unable to turn away from the girl as she played, and could not help but interfere. Even though such a thing is forbidden. Just, just for today. This strange creature holds the warmest wishes for the girl. And seeing her smiling face, it knows these wishes have come true. Happy birthday, little one. Here's a present from Mama. Thank you.